It's quite the honor to be here today with our friend Haim Hussein. He is the importer of Soul Stars, a really great company that you've created. Haim's come through the wine industry for what, a quarter of a century now? 30 years almost. 30 years, yeah. and he's gone through every trial and tribulation. Still has a smile on your face, which is an honor. To I've been drinking all day long. <laughs> <laughs> we do the same thing. You know, it's really neat because people don't understand, but what we do, folks come in here all the time and you know this, oh, you guys have a great life. All you do is get to drink, taste wine. Well, yes, we do, and it's an honor to do that. But it's kind of like the stars very rarely align, and that's why I guess you put that into your name, that you meet great people, and then the wines work with the people and you make a bond and then everything comes out to near perfection and we have this today so time yeah. if you don't mind this let's run through some of the cool wines you have thank here. you for this kind of word you know uh, first of all we have a uh, three well, four different wineries here uh, first one is a uh, guerra albano guerra in italian mean warrior uh, so the winemaker is dario his name is dario Dario is a, the best way to describe this wine is to describe Dario. Dario is a big man, he's come from a family of warrior, he's uh, like football player, but the most gentle man you ever met. So this wine basically incorporates everything that Dario is. They're powerful but elegant and gentle. We have a Pinot Grigio with uh, 600 case production, 20 to 30 years old vines, uh, one of the most best Pinot Grigio you can have from Italy. Obviously, Dario comes from Friuli, uh, northern part of Italy. The Fulano here is a gold medal uh, winner of the best Fulano in uh, Friuli. Uh, that's the flagship wine of the winery. Uh, Fulano, that's really what Friuli is about. Tokai is a rich uh, grape that uh, defines Friuli. Uh, next one is a, a 91 uh, Wine Spectator Award. Uh, incredible Sauvignon Blanc from uh, Italy is one of the best I ever had tried in Italy period. That's what made me decide to take this winery. Um, so Dario wine are exceptional, small producer, 3,000 cases production, that's about it. Uh, really a gem, uh, and a lot of people describing the next star for Yuli. And these things are absolutely terrific. The fresh fruit, and maybe you can describe the uh, terrain the, what are we dealing well, with we mountains say, hills say, here uh, it's just foothills of the uh, italian alps so the soil is volcanic a lot of mineral and you see it in the wine the uh, complexity on the wine when you also when you uh, drink this wine when you look at the glass the color of the wine is golden color the right. color come not from uh, oak aging or uh, it's come from stainless steel but the way they get this color is because the winemaker that's what we call like green harvest. He exposed the vines to the sun. And his word, uh, to describe the, the best way to describe this wine, his word is saying, uh, this wine are basically been kissed by the sun. And I think that's a perfect way to describe this wine. Uh, so anyway, uh, the price also is very reasonable for this kind of quality wine. Uh, I think it's a uh, $19.99 on any day. Uh, really terrific wine and uh, yeah, I recommend highly. And if I can say, um, we're, we're running these sixteen ninety nine, yeah, and they're just very special wines. Not one is better than the other. They're each uniquely different. And for folks who drink Pinot Grigio, I really recommend try this because complexity, depth, and dimension are all about the flavor of this uh, Pinot Grigio. And then the Sauvignon, which most folks think usually is going to be all pineapple or grapefruit, just total, total levels of fresh fruit. It's almost as if you're in the mountains smelling the fresh air running through the pretty flowers and things like that and getting uh, just a beautiful day in the sunshine. Great. Um, next winery is a come from a female winemaker from Piedmonte, by name Verna. Uh, Verna come from the uh, heart of Piedmonte, a village by name Barolo. So Obviously the wine so that she's famous for is Barolo as well. Uh, the, uh, here is Barbera di Alba, 2008 vintage. That's the entry level of her wine. It's a rich wine, uh, fruity, a lot of fruit in the, uh, in the forward in the test. Uh, definitely great food wine. Uh, this wine can go almost with pasta, pizza, uh, steaks, even a, uh, I can see it with a uh, um, tuna, like sea tuna. It's, this one will go great. Uh, really uh, terrific wine. Um, from a small producer that's famous for Grand Cru, 
Barola. Uh, next winery, it's a Verbena. Verbena is a small winery um, in uh, the village of Motocino in the uh, south of Siena. Uh, this winery is next door to one of the most famous wineries in Italy, uh, in, in the Motocino, uh, Bianti Santi. Bianti Santi is the grandfather of the Brunello. And uh, this winery is a uh, small uh, handcraft winery, husband and wife team, that has winery just next to this amazing winery. Uh, the Rosso is an incredible classic Rosso from Italy. We, Rosso, we call it the Baby Brunello. Uh, it's a wonderful wine, an entryway of uh, the Brunello. And of course, the Brunello is 93, Wine Spectator, 2007. Uh, amazing wine for $54. I will recommend it uh, any day. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, the little piggy here. It's uh, come from uh, Marema area. Um, it's a more Linux Descanso. It's 100% Sangiovese. It's a fun wine to drink, a little bit uh, uh, some peppery there. There's a lot of some pepper, some spice, uh, some richness there that you don't find itself in Chianti. So uh, definitely a, a value wine that I uh, remember all the time, the little piggy. Because uh, this is a great, great wine that uh, will uh, you'll enjoy it in uh, almost every dish, in Italian, even burger, be, be great with that. And that's about it. I think, I uh, hope you... Uh, I enjoyed the little tour to Italy that we just had. But, I mean, that uh, is absolutely awesome. Thank you for watching this little video from Red Spirits and Wine, and we call this the Purple Tooth Club. When you get great wines like this, they do indeed stain your teeth, and they leave memories not only on your palate, but in your mind and in your heart too. So thank you for coming to Nashville.